more, you baggy-eyed Bolshevik. Shut your aging hippie yap. I find it supremely ironic this contrarian bullshit artist feels it's his own personal purview to call out comic fans for enjoying concepts and stories he claims have not matured since 1967, particularly due to this man's politics, dress, worldview, and preoccupation with snubbing his nose at perceived authority figures that haven't been in power since the year 19-fucking-67. Treebeard, the world no longer conspires to preclude you, your life partner, or any other noxious sympathy the anarcho-syndicalist commune within which you presumably dwell, how to carry out the declining years of a declining career of a sloping forehead. And I'll add Rip Van Hipster, The Watchmen? It's kind of shit. The graphic novel itself, the film it's based on, the socialist pablum expressed therein, and the borderline Mobius plagiarism, I mean artwork, of artist Dave Gibbons. It's a generic story expressing generic ideas written by a shriveled simu golem who has never once found himself in danger of the expression of an original fucking thought. You're a mediocre hack and a field awash with mediocre hacks, and the only reason anyone with common sense ever truly finds themselves taking exception to your unique briny blend of pretentious horseshit is because the rest of the world, for whatever baffling reason, regards your output as something other than the supremely vapid tripe it truly is. To your credit, even you have called your work out as being one-dimensional and derivative. Alan Moore doesn't like the killing joke, which is great to hear. Neither do I. It's an origin story with no fucking origin in it. Glad to find we can see eye to eye bag on something. Oh, and thanks for performing cellular mitosis and shitting out an even less talented version of yourself. We're all loving the shit out of Grant Morrison's incoherent, self important uber tripe. You know, the truly meaningful Socratic theses with titles like Dinosaurs vs. Aliens, which frankly sounds more like a fight between Alan Moore and his gardener than the title of a fucking graphic novel. That's one hell of a protege, pal. A true pioneer of the Alan Moore method. What comprises the Alan Moore comic writing method, you sheepishly and well, the Alan Moore method, my friends, is when you swallow a North Korean super tanker of blotter acid and then pretend the one-note caricatures you inevitably pinch out in the inebriated aftermath is a neo-surrealistic portrait of contemporary mores. No, asshole, it isn't. It's fucking Sea Guy and it goddamn eats. Write a fucking comic instead of frantically scrambling to perpetually remain no less than five feet ahead of the cool curve. Fuck you very much. Oh, what's that, Alan? You founded your own neo-shamanistic snake cult? That's profoundly edgy. In the mid-60s, asshole, the world has moved the fuck on. Come along, Alan. Join in our reindeer games. I swear to whatever bundle of twigs Alan Moore worships out of spite, this man would drink his own piss if he thought it would piss off Margaret Thatcher's ghost. People who enjoy superheroes are emotionally deranged and childish, you say. Capital stuff coming from the guy who participated in a full-length documentary on the life and career of Steve Ditko, only to dedicate its entire run time to bashing the man in his politics, knowing full well he would never publicly rebuff you or your incredibly pedestrian worldview. I hate to break it to you, Alan, but that's not only childish, it's the intellectual equivalent of Duck Duck Goose. And now I need two gallons of mind bleach to sear away the mental image of a fully bearded Alan Moore playing Duck Duck Goose. I'm Razorfist. God fucking speed.